My strange addiction! What is this shit? The human candle? The man pretending to be a candle? What the fuck is this? Let's have a look. I'm Justin Jedlicka, I'm 32 years old, and I'm- Bro, why is he trying to drill a hole in his face? Come on, man! No! You're not gonna get any bitch like this! Come on, bro! But I gotta appreciate, like, nice biceps, like... He's been working out, I would fuck, maybe. Stop drilling! I've had 125 procedures. What the fuck? Actually, by the way, I had also a plastic surgery, but uh, they were just like removing the mole from my face. And it's been $158,000 to make me really resemble a doll. What the fuck? Such a waste of money! He could give that money to me! It would be much more useful! And um, chest was first. Then moved on to bicep implants, tricep implants. Ah, so he was not going to the gym. He was just having implants. The fuck, bro? I was just giving you props for going to the gym, for hitting that, for, you know, lifting that iron. But the fuck? This is cheating. It doesn't look natural. Now I, now I can see it. Fuck that. I had a brow lift and um, I started having a couple other nose revisions. They all get a little fuzzy after a while. But uh, at the end, I've had five nose jobs now. Fuck. So the doll really exemplifies sort of the ideal male aesthetic. No, it ain't. No, it doesn't. Listen, guys, everybody is different. <sighs> Somebody has a big dick like me. Somebody has a small dick like this dude. But it's, it's just normal. You cannot be perfect. Like you cannot be like you, you can be like me almost perfect but nobody is totally perfect guys so everybody is just different that's the world we live in and in this case if this guy decided that he wants to have the plastic operation i think like like it's fine it's your life anybody can do whatever they want but you have to be at least at the same time respecting the others so i don't think that it's a problem of like having that many operations like it's his decision if it's going to make him happy then like whatever you do you do but 120 plastic operations like that's quite a lot you know some people might be saying like oh my nose is fucked up then just get your nose done but this dude like wants to change his whole body this is my vegetarian body and also his biceps why the fuck do you need a biceps implant just go hit the gym and you will have you will have a mountain you will have a you will have a double pump like me when i was probably about 12 or 13, I used to always watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And I always had this idea in my brain, I, I wish that my family could have been this family that was wealthy and we could fly. Okay, so it's confirmed. TV gives you autism. Anti-vax moms. Get the fuck out of here. Are you watching TV? You're watching TV. You're getting autism as well. Uh, we could have our own boat. And that was always sort of a wish list. Private it was chair. a dream in my, in my mind. And I, I need a private chair. A private boat. Uh, let me just do this job that I hate to get things that I don't even need to impress the people that I don't even like. What a great idea. I ended up sort of emulating what I thought a lot of those wealthy people look like. You know, they all had plastic surgery. And I realized that I had a liking for some more exaggerated features and this ideal male physique, you know, a little bit more like a doll, like a, like a hero, you know, this like tiny waist and this large upper body. But that shit is fake. It, it's fake. It doesn't count. It's the same like boobies on a fat girl. It doesn't count. It's the same like abs on a skinny guy. It doesn't fucking count. And it's the same like biceps on a, on a fake b body. I live in Chicago at the Trump Tower. Chicago? Shit. Was... Okay, it's not Florida. But I'm pretty sure he has some relatives from Florida. It's not a chance. Art gave me a way to sort of escape reality. A way to get away from all the chaos of my family life. Could, I could put myself in any sort of fantasy realm and sketch it out. But actually everybody needs a hobby. Like if you're depressed, just find something that you love. I don't know, just ride a horse or do some archery or rob a bank or something positive. Playing around with the shapes to get an idea of the custom implants I want to have made for my next surgery. Dude, I didn't start dude. wanting to look like a doll. Um, it's sort of taken shape over the years. Why do you need to get fucking plastic implants? Just hit the gym. You know, everybody wants a shortcut these days. Like, ah, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to train. I don't want to eat healthy. Like, fuck that. I want to drink some vodka. 
dude, it's not the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be grinding. But having muscles and being so muscular and sexy like me, it's not just like, like this, like turn on the light switch. It's a lifestyle. I started my plastic surgery journey at 17 years old. And I had made He was looking normal. Like, what the fuck, dude? Why did you need even a plastic surgery? Like, you could already get some pussy. To fix my nose after my first nose job. And what about my nose? My nose is totally fucked up. And do I give a shit? No. And um, I began to realize that I could actually build this ideal male physique. So, like, when you look at this implant piece, this is only two centimeters in, in height. And my implant piece is a, basically a four. Eventually, we'll have Justin implants for everybody. But it's not the healthy way to do some shit. Uh, bro, just imagine you, you gotta fake shit over here, you gotta fake shit over here. At the end, you're not gonna even recognize yourself anymore. You're going to look into the mirror and it's not gonna be the same person. So I was thinking it might be good if I looked into like just enhancing my eyes a little bit. Maybe doing a little bit of permanent eyeliner. What? My what? mom and I have been best friends ever since I was a little kid. And whether or not she agrees with my surgeries, she's always there. Justin, you're gonna end up looking weird. <laughs> the mom knows what she's talking about. Get him, mom. You gotta do some spanking. No, you're not. <laughs> I would definitely like him to stop if it was my choice. But I understand that that's part of his personality. He's not going to stop. I just don't want you to look really odd then. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so perfect. <laughs> mom, don't look at me. I'm so perfect. <laughs> I got a bicep. <laughs> also, I got an eyeliner. <laughs> I'm so sexy. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna tell you what this guy needs. He needs some testosterone and he needs some real dad that's gonna teach him how to fucking behave like a man. Bitch. That's what he needs. This is what, what's gonna happen if you're gonna be raised by a single mom. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Maybe I'm exaggerating. That, that was a joke. But what I'm saying is that I, I think this guy was missing like a dad figure. Like maybe his dad was not so manly. I don't know. I'm still deciding. <laughs> I'm so perfect. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Justin Jedlicka here to see Dr. Hayworth. Today I want to see Dr. Hayworth. I've made a consultation with him and looking forward to speaking with him about doing some abdominal implants that I've been working on for a while. Dude, but the real question is why don't you have implants in your lips for sucking dicks? This is the first thing I would do in my case. But anyway, fellas, that's everything for this video. I just don't want to watch this shit anymore. Fuck that. That's gonna be it for the video. Uh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. It's not worth my time. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, share the video with your friends, send it to your cousins, send it to your grandma. Hashtag BRMe. Write me in the comments if you have any ideas for the next video. See you in the next one.